Whether an object floats or sinks when placed in a liquid depends on the density of the object relative to the density of the liquid it's placed in. If the object is less dense than the surrounding liquid, it floats. If it's more dense, it sinks. Density is the mass of an object per unit volume. Mathematically, this relationship is described using the following equation. Density equals mass divided by volume. The standard metric unit for density is grams per cubic centimeter. When placed in water, even a floating object such as a boat displaces some of that water. And the object's mass determines how much water is displaced. Specifically, an object sinks into the water until it displaces a volume of water equal to its own mass. Therefore, a one gram object will sink until it displaces or pushes aside one gram of water. A two gram object will sink until it displaces two grams of water. Understanding this one-to-one -one relationship is central to understanding how water displacement relates to an object's buoyancy. Since water has a density of one gram per cubic centimeter, a one gram object will displace one cubic centimeter of water. A 25 gram object will displace 25 cubic centimeters of water. If this 25 gram object has a volume greater than 25 cubic centimeters, it will stop sinking before it is fully submerged. In other words, it will float. If its volume is less than 25 cubic centimeters, it will not stop going down before it is completely underwater and will sink. Another way to look at the buoyancy of an object is as, as an interaction between two forces, the force of gravity and buoyancy force. The force of gravity pulls an object down. This is the weight of the object. It's the object's mass times the acceleration due to gravity. It is a force and is expressed in the unit of Newtons. In this example, we have a 25 gram cube. To figure out the force of gravity, we convert the 25 grams to kilograms, multiply by the acceleration due to gravity, which gives us a force of 0.25 newtons. The opposing force, the buoyancy force, pushes up on the object. This force is equal to the acceleration due to gravity acting on a mass of water equal to the amount of water the object displaces. In this example, the volume of water equals the 50 cubic centimeter volume of the object. Again, since water has a density of one, the 50 cubic centimeters of water has a mass of 50 grams. Taking the 50 grams through the same calculations as before gives us a buoyancy force of 0.49 newtons. Since the buoyancy force exceeds the force of gravity, the object floats. An object will float as long as the buoyancy force exceeds the force of gravity acting on that object. The closer the buoyancy force is to the force of gravity, the lower the object will float. If the force of gravity exceeds the buoyancy force, the object sinks.